Well, the big new Brzezinski's uh, argument that the U.S. should retaliate against Russia for Russia's attacks on U.S. assets in Syria is a stunning admission from a senior high-level policy advisor here in the U.S. that the U.S. is in fact using al-Qaeda and perhaps Islamic State as well as assets. This is not something that is normally admitted by officials in Washington, D.C. That is that al-Qaeda in Syria, the al-Nusra Front, is actually a, a U.S. ally. I think the American people will be very interested to hear that just uh, 14 years after the attacks of September 11, 2001, which were officially blamed on al-Qaeda, which even then was called by some people al-CIA, duh, having had relationships with the U.S. in the Afghan Jihad against the Soviet Union, that uh, this uh, supposedly demonized enemy group that we're told was responsible for killing 3,000 Americans on September 11, 2001, is now our ally in Syria, and we should go to war with Russia and risk a nuclear war that could end life on the planet in order to punish Russia for fighting against al-Qaeda. Uh, it's kind of mind-boggling that anyone could even imagine uh, the U.S. retaliating against Russia for Russia's attacks on al-Qaeda, but that's precisely what Brzezinski said. Um, and Brzezinski, for better or worse, is actually considered one of the more uh, sensible and level-headed people in Washington, which tells you something about the, uh, the other people around him, the neoconservatives who are much crazier even than he is. I guess to explain this, we would just have to note Brzezinski's background. Uh, he's from a Polish uh, nobility kind of family background which explains why he hates Russia so much and has been trying to push aggressive policies against Russia throughout his whole life. But it's, it's still stunning and disgraceful that when Russia has uh, intervened at the behest of the Syrian government, which is fully legitimate under international law, to shore up that government uh, against these uh, groups like al-Nusra and the Islamic State, uh, in order to try to stabilize the situation and lay the groundwork for a kind of a peaceful solution, that the response from Brzezinski would be that we need to attack Russia. Um, let's hope that somewhere in the quarters of power there's someone who's uh, more sensibly a, a realist than Brzezinski is who will recognize that the U.S. should have accepted the peace offers that were on the table years ago and are really still on the table. All it takes is uh, recognition that the U.S. regime change operation in Syria has gone awry. It's time to call it off and to seek stability rather than uh, destabilizing and destroying uh, Syria and the surrounding countries.